What's up guys, Sean the Bro here, and today we're going to be going over splash screens in our fighting game tutorial series. So splash screens are things that pop up before the main menu. They can do things like entice the player to want to play based on, you know, either who the publishers are, who the developers are, but they can also do things like include little movies and little uh, skits and sequences that are nice while everything's loading in the background these can be playing to you know kind of distract the player they can be skipped most of the time or a lot of the time i won't say most of the time and we can also show how you can get that effect as well so it's going to be a pretty simple episode we're just going to go over splash screens as a whole they're quite convenient and simple to go through especially with unreal engine but something i feel like we should include especially because i've seen more and more of you start using these types of projects from these templates and these tutorials in game jams and things like that and that is awesome and i'm so excited to see that so i'm glad you're enjoying let's go over how we can make it a little bit more official a little bit more professional that sort of thing so i'm going to close out of this and before we do get started i'm going to just let you know that we've done 119 episodes i believe this is episode 120 of the fighting game tutorial series specifically so if you want to check out all the episodes that got us to this point you can click this icon in the top right corner right here to go to that playlist and check out everything we've done. I will also include this video right here, which is where we set up the main menu logic and the press any key screen logic. There are a few episodes tied to those, but this is the first one in that series. And these things come after the splash screen. So this is just basically, if you watch those and you watch this episode, you can have menu flow without knowing the rest of the, the series. So if you're looking for that, then that's perfect. Otherwise, let's get started. So Unreal makes it very simple. You can go to Edit, Project Settings, and we're going to be playing around with a lot of stuff in here in the future, especially for setting up our version, our name, and doing things like including the version on our widgets, we can actually grab this value and then display it. But anyway, um, if we go to the Movies section, this is where our splash screens are going to be enabled, implemented, and added to. So there's only three things in here, and I'm going to explain them because they're very simple. You can probably figure out what they are. But basically, as I said earlier, during splash screens, things can actually be loading in the background. They serve a purpose that isn't just, oh, we want to display the developers, the publishers. We want to do this legal stuff to you know figure out who made the game it actually can load things in the background while these are playing that can mask it. So if you notice when I start the game now, uh, sometimes there's like a little frame, right? You can see a little jitter because it, at this point, it's on a different camera and it has to swap over to this widget that is being created and, you know, all this stuff. When you're doing that, the game only has, if it has even one frame where it's not in the right spot, like this, you can see that little flicker. Well, if we load this stuff during the splash screen, you will avoid those issues. So they have a practical purpose like that as well. So you have the ability to wait for movies com to complete so that they are forced, the, the user is forced to watch this or let them complete even if everything is finished loading in the background. Now that's up to you if you wanna do that or not. Uh, I prefer, you know, I think as a player, I usually prefer not to, but I can see why it's useful, why you may want to. As a developer, I actually prefer to allow it to complete so I can watch the whole cycle, but allowing them to skip it is also useful. So it's up to you. I can see both sides. We can cover both sides and, and, and show you what each one looks like. And then movies are skippable is pretty self-explanatory, but basically when they press a button, can it be skipped by the user? You may have to do some initial, um, excuse me, you may have to do some updates to this in the future because this is only for the mouse button specifically, but you can adjust it to where, you know, anything can skip these and other things like that. However, it's just, do you want the user to be able to skip them or not? Okay. And then here's our startup movies array. We're going to add movies or basically videos to this directory, the game slash content slash movies directory. It's going to be able to read them, read the files and display them. It's that simple. So let's go over an example. I'm going to do this live with you. I haven't done it. So you click add to add one. Okay. And then you go to the, the ellipsis here to select the path. Now you can look at all my stuff if you want. I don't really care, 
but uh, I do want to go in and find a specific file. So I have this right here. This is my Sean the Bro intro. This will work for now. I don't have anything specific that I want to do. It's long. It's 14 seconds. Usually they're not that long. We could trim it down. I probably will for the sake of the, the template. And we probably won't be using this as the splash screen. But it doesn't really matter what video I have in here. It can always be adjusted later. The one thing that does need to happen is that file needs to be in your project, specifically at that directory I asked for, which is the game's content uh, movies folder. So you can copy it now if you'd like by clicking copy. It will literally put it in there for you, or you can manually move it into the file explorer. Uh, if you copy it, of course, the one in the other directory still remains, whereas you could move it in your file explorer and get rid of the other one if you'd like. So now if we just go to this, by the way, let's check this out real quick, okay? So we go to content, we have a movies folder, and we had other stuff in here because I, I was making them movies. I, I, I know it's called movies, uh, that we had in here and we had other stuff in here. Don't be confused. Um, you can have a movies folder with other things in it, but you need a movies folder for these splash screens, unless you edit engine code to determine where it paths from and stuff like that. But we're not doing any of that today. So this is the only file we're interested in today. So it copied it over for me and it's in that folder. All right, before we go any farther, we go into the movies folder um, you can see that even though it's in that folder i don't actually see it here there's certain files you can't see in the content directory as you can see there are other things it doesn't it only shows you assets it doesn't show like mp4 files okay so it has the materials media textures media players and these previews it does not have the actual mp4s that's okay you don't have to be able to see it in here so if you go back to your project settings now and go to movies once again uh, sorry up at the top project movies now this is in here and it has that name you can you know add another one to change the order delete this one or duplicate it and then change the name let me show you what this looks like this does have this little jitter in the front okay it's frozen here for the first two seconds or so because of the way I recorded it and at the end it has this so the splash screen itself is not it's not lagging, it's not delayed. This is what this video actually looks like. Okay. So this is the this is the splash screen. So it plays it seamlessly and it closes it seamlessly as well. So now if instead of new editor window I play standalone game like this, you'll see that it can launch like a separate project, separate executable and it will actually play the movie that we put in there. Now, it finished and it skipped here. So I didn't skip it, that wasn't me doing that. That was because wait for movies to complete was not checked, okay? So while it let me get into the game faster, it did look a little bit ugly because it just cut off the video in the middle to say, oh, it's loaded. It did fix the issue with jittering and, and the flickering. You didn't see any of that when the screen was coming on when the main menu came up because it had already loaded in the background. So if you look now, see how it completed? And now it's already on the, the correct screen, okay? So that's something you can do uh, with the main menu to make that look nice. Again, if it's unchecked, it'll be quicker because once it's done loading, it will go to the, the main menu or whatever screen it is that you have, but it will mean that it will cut off, which might look a little bit weird. So, this setup won't really do anything because movies are skippable. It's They can be skipped, uh, but really it's when everything loads and it allows it to skip. Basically, if, if this is unchecked, it's going to just allow it to skip to the main menu. It's gonna do that the first chance it gets if that's unchecked, so you're not gonna get much of a difference here. But if you click both, wait for movies to complete and movies are skippable and we play, you'll see that the movie will attempt to complete it'll it'll go the whole way it won't skip on its own like it was doing before okay but i can click with the left mouse and then i can skip it so that allows the user full control of once it's loaded we can skip it but it also allows the game to load in the background until it is ready so these are probably the preferred settings at least for convenience but you can mess with them later to get a more you know a, a more desirable effect 
Then you can add more and they show up in the order that you add them. So for example, if I was going to add, don't know if I have like a short one, like this is 58 seconds, which is too long. But let's say I add it in here real quick. Okay, and let's play. Now I have two. It's going to play in the order you would expect, zero, then one. So I can skip this one once it's ready. And it'll skip through both of them. Okay, so that goes right to the right to the game. It doesn't skip each individual splash screen. If I let it play, and I say they're skippable, but I wait for them to complete, and I don't skip it, and we'll let this one run. Once this one is done, it is going to go to the next one. And there we go. So you can see that I have my multiple splash screens there. And with that, now we have splash screens. But when you play your new editor window, you don't have to worry about all that junk. And you don't have to worry about the inconvenience of watching them every single time or being forced to skip them every single time. That is not necessary. So splash screens are a great little thing. They allow your game to load in the background while things are being displayed. They also allow you to customize them pretty easily in Unreal Engine, and they work seamlessly and load very quickly. Um, so they're actually very friendly with your other loading times. They're not screwing that stuff up, making your game slower because of it. So something very simple, but for those of you that are working already on your uh, game jams and your your little dev projects if you want to add those that's a really cool thing really neat really easy so you can do that and get a lot of value out of it but anyway guys that's all i got so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i'm really grateful if, you, if this helped you and you enjoyed it please subscribe it does more for myself and the channel than anything else you can do and i really really appreciate it i also want to give a huge shout out to my patreon members and youtube membership subscribers you guys really really <laughs> encourage me to keep working on the series and i am so grateful for that support and i love putting out episodes every week for you guys so thank you so much if you did have any issues with this tutorial or any of my tutorials feel free to join the discord community i'd be happy to get you set up and fixed with any problems or bugs that you had anyway guys like i said that's all i got so thank you so much for watching i'm sean the bro and i'll see you in the next one Goodbye, guys.